Hello and welcome to AmiPal, the number one place on the internet for the sweetest me content. You may have seen an episode on this channel before about how to set up an SD card using a Mac. Um, I know a lot of um, Amiga users use Windows machines to do that, um, but I don't have Windows machines, so I've kind of had to work it out myself. Um, one thing I haven't covered before is how to take images of that SD card on the Mac and basically back it up um, and then write said image to another disk, which will probably be very useful to those of you who also don't have Windows PCs and possibly use Mac for their uh, Amiga disk administration. Let's find out how it's done. So here we are in MacOS. I'm just going to insert my SD card. And as always, we click ignore. We do not want to initialize the disk. Okay, next up, we get the disk utility. Now you can see Apple uh, SDXC reader media here, uninitialized 4 gig. This is the SD card from my desktop A1200. So now we are going to go to file, new image, image from Apple SDXC reader media. Pop that somewhere. I'm going to call it A1200 AmiPal. I don't think it matters if it's read only or anything like that. I always put it read write. Um, you can encrypt it if you want at this point as well, but um, I haven't tried this with an encrypted one, so um, give it a try. I don't know. Save that. Okay, now we have to pop in our admin password. And off it goes. This is creating a disk image from our SD card. Obviously, a smaller disk will be quicker, larger disk will take longer. But luckily, it doesn't take too long. And we're finished. Successful. Um, that took over four minutes, which actually seemed like an eternity sitting here recording this. <laughs> so um, yeah, cut your cloth accordingly, uh, depending on your SD card size. Um, just wanna show you where that is. There we go. And you can see it's, it's 4.03 gig is the SD card size. And so is the DMG that's been created. Um, so that is effectively, we've effectively backed it up now. Um, now in order for us to actually use this and write it back to a card, I'm actually going to pop this card out now because we're not using it. Uh, I'm going to pop in a new SD card, um, one that's already got an image on it, but I don't mind writing over the top of it. Again, we ignore it. We can actually close down this utility now. Right, so now we go into a shell. Um, this is Bash, but I, I, I don't know if there are other shells that people use on Mac OS, but I use this and it works. Um, so first of all, we CD to the location of our image. There it is, a1200amipal.dmg. What we need to do with this is actually to convert it for use because the DMG can't be written. I just have to <laughs> get what we need. Okay, so it's A1200 AMI power, isn't it? We need to turn it into an IMG from a DMG. So HDI util convert A1200 AMI DMG format UTDO. That's as in capital O, not zero. I've made that mistake a few times. And then O for output, A1200 AmiPal, dot IMG. And off it goes. You'll notice in um, Finder itself that it actually creates it as an IMG.CDR. 
Um, that's something we'll correct in a minute, um, but this is what we're writing it out as. And there we go, that was a bit quicker, one minute, 17 seconds. Um, again, we're, we're looking finder and we've got our original DMG and now our IMG CDR. Um, with that, we are just going to rename it. You don't need the dot .cdr on the end, so boom. No, we want to keep the IMG, it will ask you that, but that's fine. Okay, so our next step is actually to write this, get back through my history, <laughs> to the SD card. So we're going to use the DD, helps if I name it correctly, my file is a1200amipower.img, so sudo dd, uh, block size 2048, input file is a1200amipower.img, Out, up. output file is basically the um, device where the SD card is plugged in. Uh, we can ascertain that from either um, the disk util or, or there's another command we can put that in. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, but this is all we need. That'll write it to the dev disk four device. So I'm gonna start that. We need to put in our admin password again. And then we leave this going. Um, one thing I will say, there is no progress for this. So unlike um, the conversion from DMG to IMG, uh, we don't actually have periods, full stops, uh, working their way along, showing the magics happening um, in the scene. It will literally just sit like this and not show us anything for a long time. Right, well, this took a while. Um, how long did it take? 2,192.674236 seconds, which is about 37 minutes. Um, like I've already said, it's kind of dependent on the, the size of the disk you're writing to, the, the size of the image you're using. Um, so, you know, smaller ones will take less time, um, but it should be on there now. So I guess the next thing to do is actually check to see that it's actually been written correctly. So I'm going into FSUAE. Um, I've already got it set up to read from my disk four as a hard drive. So let's give it a go and see what happens. And there it is, written. How about that? Let's just uh, go into Workbench. There's Workbench, there's my work partition, there's my data partition, all present and correct. Let's just quickly jump into a game. Uh, just a quick one. Let's do something about this screen size. Seems to be working to me. <laughs> so yeah, that's how to write, back up, and uh, copy a disk image back to an SD card. And there we have it. It's actually quite simple, um, particularly when you've run through it a couple of times and you've you've got it in mind, um, and also in your um, CLI shell history because you know you just kind of press up and there it is. Uh, <laughs> so uh, hopefully it is of help to some of you out there. Um, if for any reason 
anything that I've told you is incorrect, if there's any point in it where you think, mm, that could be done better, please do let me know in the comments. I do appreciate um, being corrected on these things because I'd rather the information I put out was correct than uh, leave shoddy information out there. Um, one other thing I'd like to raise, uh, I've recently breached the 300 subscribers number metric thing. Um, I do really appreciate all the subscriptions that I do get um, and likes on the videos. I don't, I haven't created the channel for that purpose. Um, after all, this, this, this is basically about sharing my knowledge um, and my, my passion of the subject of the Amiga computer. Um, but, you know, just seeing that number creep up and up, it's, it means a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, but thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any suggestions for videos or ideas for topics I could cover, please do let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.